Hi friends, I'm here today again with visiting Holocaust survivors who live in Israel and uh, you're not going to believe their names. We have Mordechai and Esther Jacoby, right, from the Purim story, from the book of Esther. <laughs> and you had a daughter, when was your daughter born? Uh, March 6, 1963. The holiday of Purim. Exactly. Look at that. Is that amazing? You have five children. Yeah. And uh, so we were getting to know each other a little bit. And um, Mr. Jacoby, it turns out, was telling me the story about his uh, Holocaust experience and the terrible places that he was in. And he was saying that he was liberated from a concentration camp, right? Yes. In 1940. Even there, 1940. 1945. 1945. And what was the name of the camp? Avenzi. Avenzi. When he told me that, I couldn't believe it because it's exactly the same concentration camp that my grandfather was also liberated from. And, and Mrs. Jacoby said that it was known, it was a known thing that it was a terrible camp. What did they say about that concentration camp? That no one, no one would survive, Evan said. Yeah, nobody, and in fact, towards the end of the war, they, when they knew, when the Nazis knew that the end was near, they brought all, they tried to bring all of the inmates, all of the prisoners into the, the tunnels. They were liberated by the Americans, but they made a very, very big mistake. When they came in and they saw us, nothing but bone and skin. Mm -hmm. So they wanted them, they brought in kettles of food. They put them in the middle of the camp and people rushed to get them. Mm -hmm. The first bite, the second bite, they were dropping dead. Wow. Sweetheart, let me ask you something. Uh, did the commanders in the camp try to force everybody to go into the tunnels? No, he was going to do before he would be before the Nazis lost. He was going to put everybody in the, in the tunnel and blow it up. That's what they tried wanted to yeah, do. But he never managed to do it because the the inmates would not go into the tunnels. Uh, either the civilians stopped him, or he didn't have enough time to do it. Right. They tried to they tried to kill everybody towards the end of the war. And then what Mr. Jacoby was saying was that the Americans, the soldiers liberated that camp and tried very hard just to give anything. They had candy bars to the inmates and people actually died by eating that food because their stomachs were not... The stomach wouldn't take it and as soon as they put a couple of spoonfuls in their mouth, they were dropping dead. Yeah, terrible, terrible. Now, uh, Mr. Jacoby, you have a number on your arm you want to show everybody? What is the what is your number? One oh two oh five. Want to try it again? One oh five oh two. Correct. And is there a a, a letter? A. A one oh five oh two. Because it started from zero to ten thousand. The ten thousand started again with A. Mm, yeah. So uh, thank God that you 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 were able to move to Israel and. Um, you're living here in Israel. Um, so, I mean, your story is really amazing. It really is amazing. But um, one of the things that you told me about that your husband loves to do is to study, right? To study okay. Torah, to study right. Torah, to study the Bible, right? But it's hard to leave the home in a wheelchair. And so sometimes people come here to study, right? Correct. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, that's a really special thing, that to be able to, in your old age, to be able to do what you love the most and to be able to study the Torah. Correct. That's a special thing. I think you're going to like this. This is a special gift. This is a Tanakh. This is called the Israel Bible. Okay, this is a gift for you. Thank you. It's all about, uh, it's the whole Tanakh, the whole Bible, right, with a commentary about Israel. The, and it tells the story about the return of the people of Israel to the land of Israel. And actually, uh, I, w I edited this. Oh, I spent did about, you really? I okay. spent about five years working on this in Israel 365. We published this just last year. So this is a, a gift. I hope that you Be study before, it. Before you do, I want to tell you, my daughter, my daughter Debbie, who lives in California, told me that this 
this officer and this one yeah, stayed with them these soldiers, uh, right. last year, a couple of years ago. Oh. They were they're on a tour. Wow. The the guys from 1967. Mm -hmm. that, so amazing. they stayed with them. That's amazing. <laughs> so we're, we're so happy to be able. To, I hope you study this. I really I really hope that you study this. Especially, uh, I think you'll enjoy the commentary about Israel. I think so. I hope so. And uh, it's really a pleasure, like on behalf of all of the all of you who are watching this video, who help support our efforts. What do we do? We help bring a physical therapist to your home. Yes. How's that going? Serena, who comes to and gives you exercises. Yeah. You like her? I do the exercises. <laughs> yes, you do. She makes you get up and do them. Yeah. She's been working with your arms. And when she was here on Tuesday, she was working yeah. with your legs. And yeah. you had to stand up. Yeah. You had to walk. Makes it walk. And he was raising his legs different ways and then on his toes. Mm -hmm. So Rena had, Serena has been marvelous, really. She is... Wonder, it's a wonderful thing that Bella Bev, you know, is doing to bring her here. That's really. great. We're so happy, we're so happy that we, anything that we could do to help, to help you. you and to help you is uh, really an honor, and especially I think that uh, the people who contributed to this program are, some people are Jewish, but most of, the, most of them are not Jewish. Mm -hmm. And for them, this is a real honor to be able to help the the Jews in Israel in general and the Holocaust survivors specifically, specifically just to be able to enjoy life. You should live and be well to 120, right? How old did you say you were? 94. 94, wow, okay, amazing. God should bless you with health and uh, you should enjoy many years together. Thank you. How long have you been married? 62. That's wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And uh, so thank you to everybody who uh, made this possible. And thank you for thank you. opening up your home to us. Our, our pleasure. And speaking English. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, thank you for speaking English. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you, everybody. Shalom.